I'm James Lawson. I'm the president of the United Fishermen and Allied Workers Union slash Unifor. And uh, I've been a commercial fisherman since I was 13. I mostly do gooey ducks, prawns, salmon seine, and herring gillnet now. My first jobs were with my grandpa, and then I worked with my dad for years after that. And now I'm off on my own. Like you, you have to know how to go harvest those species, and it, it's, a, it's a very comprehensive skill set to be able to do it, and especially to be able to maintain your own business and running a boat, you have to be part plumber and part electrician and know how to fish and work with fiberglass and welding and all these things. And it's a very specific brand of people who will do it, and we're kind of fading away, so we need the work of unions and like-minded associations to keep us hanging around or else you know we're going to lose a lot of intergenerational knowledge and that's going to be an awful thing going forward. Uh, there's a lot of hard work that goes into fishing and we should be the ones that reap those benefits. We shouldn't be sharecroppers in this weird leasing model that is happening now. I mean like I think prawn licenses right now are selling for 1.3 million dollars. I how is any young person going to afford that and be able to make a living going forward? You, you just can't. There's no reason we need to have anybody holding fishing licenses who doesn't intend to fish. It's great if you're that person and you're viewing it solely as an investment, but it doesn't help the greater community of fish harvesters, and that's what you really need to maintain. Like we're slowly losing infrastructure and our workforce, and once that's gone, well, their investments is going to mean nothing. If I thought fisheries are going to stay the way they are now forever into the future, I wouldn't stay, but I think there is a lot of opportunity for change, and that's why my generation has been staying around, because we love the lifestyle, but we know it won't go anywhere without change, and we're starting to show just how powerful we can be as grassroots movements, and I think the future is not bright yet, but looking brighter. Ha <laughs>